I'm back with another weekend sneaker rotation for the month of November 2024. So let's get into it. Welcome to my channel, No Fraud Productions. My name is E, and I make content on sneakers and music. So if that's something that you're into, consider liking this video, commenting on this video, and also subscribing to the channel. Like I always like to say, it costs you nothing to pay me a little mind and hit that subscribe button. All right, so with all that YouTube yakety yak out of the way, today I'm back with my November 2024 weekend sneaker rotation all right so i mentioned this a few times in other videos but i work nights so during the week i don't really pull out any shoes like that I, I mean i go to work i wear my work shoes i come home i'll take my son to practice or something like that so it's usually something comfortable you know some crocs foam runners slides now that it's getting colder um i'll wear my nike offline packs usually a lot so but with this series that I'm doing here, this is kind of holding me accountable to wear different shoes in my collection, pulling out, you know, stuff that I haven't worn in a while, undies and shoes that I have. So that's what this uh, series has been doing. So right now we're in December. So this is going to be my November look back at what I wore throughout the month on the weekend. So without any further ado, let's start it off. First weekend, first Saturday of the month was November 2nd, which was actually Day of the Dead, so I pulled out my Nike Blazers um, Day of the Dead. These actually came out in 2020, yeah, 2020, and I haven't worn, this is my first time wearing these, you know, this November, so, I mean, I like Blazers, I have a few in my collection. This one, you can see the symbol right there. I guess it's the Day of the Dead symbol. It's like a Mexican holiday. It also has it on the inside of the shoe right there. Um, sponge tongue right there. And this also, when the more you wear these, or you can like distress them yourself, but these, you can see the color peeking through right here, like the swoosh is yellow. Also right here is going to be red, and around the toe box is blue. So is the back right there. So yeah, this was the first shoe I pulled out for the month of November, which was November 2nd, which is a Saturday. And it was the uh, Nike Blazers and the Day of the Dead collab. All right, so for November 3rd and November 17th, I pulled out the same shoe, which was both of those days were Sundays, like a relaxed, chill day. I pulled out my Wu-Tang Crocs. Actually, when I pulled these out on Sunday the 3rd, I was trying to give myself some good luck to hit on the uh, Wu-Tang Dunks that were coming out that following Saturday the 9th. But I didn't hit, but my wife did hit. I did do a whole review in, on that shoe and talk about how she hit. So I'll put the card up there if you guys are interested in checking that out. But yeah, this was my uh, Sunday shoe for the 3rd and the 17th. I pulled out the Wu-Tang Crocs. My Wu-Tang Crocs, man. So it was just a relaxed, cool Sunday, chill day. Okay, so jump to the next weekend. Um, November 9th, I pulled out a pair of shoes that I usually wear to like functions. <laughs> when I'm going out, I like to dress it up with a suit. So I pulled out the metallic gold. Jordan 1 highs. I haven't worn these shoes too much. I don't want them to really get creased up, but um, I do pull these out. I wore these to a wedding once, and um, on the ninth I had went to a birthday party, so I, I wore them with a suit then too. Um, dope shoe. I like Jordan 1 highs. Patent leather shoes are pretty cool. I prefer like the 11s, but this is not bad. I mean, I know Jordan 1s also have a few. Um, I think the Chicago or the Charlotte to Chicago's are patent leather, but this is my only pair of patent leather Jordan 1s. The metallic gold. All right, so the next day, Sunday, um, November 10th, I pulled out a pair of shoes, Yeezys, the 350s and the Pirate Black. 
Sundays is chill day, you know, not too much running around. Maybe I'll run to my son's game, but now like the soccer season is almost like over now, so it's basketball's picking up. But yeah, this is what I rolled out with on a Sunday, the uh, the tenth of November. It was all about comfort, so I pulled out the Yeezys Pirate Blacks. Now I'll probably put these up for the winter because these are like a sock knit shoe, so. Your feet will get real cold wearing these in the cold weather, so I might not pull these out too much. Unless I rock them to the gym or something, because they are comfortable. But, yeah, November 10th, I pulled out the Yeezy 350 V1s in the Pirate Black colorway. Alright, fast forward to the next weekend, November 16th, which is a Saturday. I un a pair of shoes that I got not too, pretty recently. Uh, pulled out the... Mama Manier Jordan 3s while you were asleep. Now, I did a review on these as well, but I must say, I did hit on the black cement. I did a review on those two, but uh, these quality wise blows those out of the box. I mean, the Jordan 3 black cement definitely has a nostalgic factor when it comes to it. So, but these quality wise make those look crappy bro and it's funny because these were just five dollars more than those so i don't know jordan brand stuff your game up man but yeah i kept the black laces in they come with three pair of laces um they have the cream the black and also this like uh i guess i don't know like a plum or prune color i don't know what color that is but yeah it has those in it those three laces so yeah, undies these. First time wearing these, they're comfortable. Or Jordan threes. I like the uh, sock liner in there. Has that quilted uh, stitch to it. Nike here in the back. Can't go wrong with that. So yeah, this was uh, my shoe for um, the sixteenth, uh, Saturday. All right, I already mentioned I wore the Wu Tang Crocs for the Sunday, the seventeenth. So I'm gonna just skip ahead now to the next weekend which was November 23rd, and I will pull out a pair of shoes that I haven't worn too much, but it is the uh, more up-tempo Ambush collab, Nike Ambush collab. You see the Ambush written right there on the back heel, also on the tongue right there. In my humble opinion, I think it might have been a little more fire. I don't know if they could have pulled it off if they would have had, like, Ambush going around. Kind of how the Supreme collab with the um, Up Air Tempos, with the more Up Air Tempos had. But, you know, this is still a dope shoe. This is actually a low. It's not the high. I do like that the, the sole is black. Help it keeps it looking nice so it doesn't look dirty. You know, white shoes get dirty pretty quick. These came with an extra set of laces. I think it was black, but I kept the um, the green and like this this speckle of whites in it. So this was uh, November 23rd. I pulled out the Ambush More Up Air um, collab with Nike. So dope shoe, pretty bulky shoe. So this was my Saturday shoe for November 23rd. Alright, so my Sunday shoe, um, November 24th, I pulled out a pair of shoes I had for a while. Very comfortable. I like these shoes. Just some cool casual joints, basketball joints. The Nike um, Delta Mids. I forgot the colorway of these, but I did do a review on these way back when I first got them. I had these for a few years now. Has the jump man right there tag around the tongue, exposed tongue. That seems to be a theme. You can see the 23 on the tongue, the jump man, and the wings logo. Give you like all of the Jordan logos right there. The hint of yellow peeking through the back. It also says react right there. I mean, comfortable shoe. I wore these sub, um, November 24th which was a Sunday. So this was the Jordan, um, the Jordan, uh, so these were the Jordan Delta Mids for November 24th. 
All right, so for Thanksgiving, the 28th, which is a Thursday, but I was off, so I pulled out a pair of shoes that I actually wore my last month rotation, but I just figured I'd pull these out again. I mean, can't go wrong. And the bottom also reminds me of like cranberry sauce, so it made me think of Thanksgiving, so I pulled these out. These are the definition of color, SB um, Dunk Lows. This was a two pack. I also have the other pack. I haven't actually wore those yet, but I do have the other pack for this. The other shoe that goes with this. That's where I actually got these laces from. Um, you can see the number right there on and inside. 194, I believe it is. That's the page that um, this color combination is in the book. Definition of colors. So this was my Thanksgiving shoe. Because of the sole reminds me of like cranberry sauce, so I just figured I'd rock these. Okay, the last Saturday of the month was November 30th, so I pulled out a pair of Jordan 12s. And these are the Dark Concord Jordan 12s. I do like an all black shoe, with, and I like these because it has just the hints of the like Concord in there on the eyelids. On the jump man on the tongue on the side right there and on the back tab and the 23 is in white on the back also the jump man is on white is white in the front right there also with another hint of dark con dark concords on the bottom I like the shoe I actually wore the shoe to work a couple of times because I have to wear black shoes at work so I definitely like these shoes. I didn't realize that they were reselling for so much because I had to look up. I forgot the color of these, so I looked it up, and they were kind of like three thirty, I think, for this size twelve. And these dropped, I believe, twenty twenty as well. So these, like, kind of a lot of these shoes I pulled out this month have I've had for you know about four years. So yeah, this was the this was the shoe that I ended the month with, the Dark Concord Jordan Twelves. You know, they always like to say Jordan 12s are like the hood classics. <laughs> but I do like Jordan 12s. You can't go wrong with a nice pair of Jordan 12s. I'm actually waiting for those flu games to drop next year. That's one of the shoes. But I'll do a whole video talking about all the shoes that I'm interested in for 2025. But that's definitely one of them. All right, so this is it right here, man. Wrapping up my weekend sneaker rotation for the month of November 2024 is the Dark Concord Jordan 12s. All right, so that's it for my weekend sneaker rotation for November 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you did, give it a thumbs up, you know, like. If you hit me in the comment section, let me know. Did you like this rotation? Are you feeling these shoes in this rotation? If you have any of these shoes in this rotation, hit me in the comment section. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. If you enjoy content on sneakers or music, man, this is the place to be right here. So consider subscribing man i appreciate everyone for checking out this video the channel once again is no fraud productions and my name is e and i'll catch y'all on the next video man thanks for watching peace